There are Christmas wreaths, Christmas trees, Christmas songs about Christmas beers. Welcome back to News 12 Long Island. I'm Doug Geed. A visit to some area breweries who are producing some holiday ales. It's being made here on the North Fork, but it sounds like something that would more likely come from the North Pole. For the holidays, we're actually going to brew what we're calling a gingerbread cookie pie. Think about, you know, everything you love with gingerbread cookies, turn it into a beer. We're taking a ton of fresh ginger, some Madagascar vanilla beans, some Vietnamese cinnamon, and we're turning it into a holiday spiced beer. It's the second dessert-style beer they're producing at Greenport Harbor Brewing Company. The first was kind of a jacked-up version of their popular pumpkin ale leaf pile. Meanwhile, at Long Ireland Beer Company in Riverhead, they have a slew of seasonal suds. There's their winter ale, a red spiced ale. There's also the big and bold and dark Doc Holiday's Imperial Stout. Roasted notes, chocolate notes to it, dark fruit notes to it. A much subtler beer is the chocolate porter. It's not at all sweet or dessert-like. It leans more to an almost bitter chocolate. We use cocoa nibs. We'll use um, uh, vanilla, cocoa powder straight from the supermarket. It's always fun when I go in there and I buy 20 containers of it. They look at me funny. And then there's the jelly ring, an extremely popular beer that has the chocolate porter in it. And that came about by accident. A customer came in and was like, could you mix your chocolate porter and your raspberry? We're like, okay. So to mix it by the pint, and it just kind of took on a life itself. It's almost like, you know, the peanut butter and the chocolate, you know, Reese's. For more information about the breweries we just showed you and to see more of my East End segments, go to news12.com slash East End. In Riverhead, Doug Geed, News 12 Long Island.